Uh, will Kennedy Nesweku plant the Nigerian flag firmly in 205 pound contendership? Why is the region producing so much talent? See this, this, and I've talked about this already. This is getting a little ridiculous to me. This, this guy, did he was he even born in Nigeria? Did he even live in Nigeria? Like this is getting weird. This is like you know, is Stipe Miocic putting Poland on the map? No. When people talk about Stipe, they're thinking about Cleveland. You know, you know, is is uh, is it's like I don't get that. Like for for someone like um, Francis Ngannou. Who grew up there? Adesai, who was born there, then migrated away. Fine. Well, I can't. Kennedy, he he was born in Nigeria. How long did he live there? Because it's weird. I, I mean, I look, I'm not sure how long he lived there. Yeah, like it's just a weird, like, like, like say Martin Martin Newen that I just interviewed. He's grew. Up, he lived most of his life in Australia. Yeah, he's from Vietnamese background. He uses Vietnam and his his his, his like you know. His marketing and stuff like that one uses it but I, when i look at him when i hear him i think you know i'm, I'm, I'm australian an asian australian uh, so it's it just it's a weird thing I, I don't know if that's really putting nigeria on the map i know you have roots there but could he he's probably yeah he could probably plant his flag at 205 is he playing the nigerian flag at 205 i'm not sure but that said in a lot of poor countries in the world where people have to strive to get a meal there's talent there <laughs> manny pocket we're talking about that a lot of talent. There's talent there if it can be mined and nurtured, and we're seeing it. Uh, that's what's cool about one. We're seeing some of those poor countries and like Singapore, Malaysia. Um, you know, uh, uh, um, oh, where where on on songs from? Uh, damn, I forgot the name. But these poor countries coming up with you know talent that are legit and good if they could get nurtured. They have the background, the training. And I remember watching an episode of Vice News, and they had a. Uh, a story where I don't know if it was Nigeria, but it was a well-known African country. It might have been uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo, something like that. That they had like a, their own kind of wrestling art, like a grappling art. Yeah, I know what you, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and, you know, those things. This martial arts up where if it just and I'm sure you know those guys were good at what they did and they're very good athletes. If they've been training any kind of like martial arts seriously, so yeah, it's it's cool just to see somewhere in Africa in general. This way, I don't. It's a little weird way to do it, but to have Africa talked about as an MMA spot. I think it's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, I think it's dope, man. I think it's more so um, why the region is, seems to be producing uh, so much talent is because it's being paid attention to. Yeah, that's right. Somebody's just looking now. Yeah. They're looking for uh, for the for these guys uh, to to show what they can do in a cage. That's mm -hmm. it. You know, the talent has been there. The talent has always been there. We've seen other sports go to Africa to find talent. Mm -hmm. I uh, growing up in the D.C. area. Remember very clearly when Manute Bowl yep. was seven seven. Yep. Uh, and I forget what what exact country he came from and what the name of his tribe and stuff was, but it was like this uh, a whole tribe of guys that were like over seven feet tall, and they found mm -hmm. the tallest one there, and they said, "Hey, uh, we're going to teach you how to play basketball, and we're going to pay you a lot of money." And this man knew a lick about basketball. <laughs> they taught him just enough to where he could stand under the <laughs> under the paint and, and and get rebounds and lay up. And then you have like an Akeem Olajuwon that straight up from Africa, legit. Exactly. So um, other sports have turned to Africa for talent forever. And it's about time that MMA caught on uh, with that as well. So, I mean, there's athletes everywhere. It's just about finding, you know, fuck, in the 80s, were we really thinking that Europe would be mined for great basketball talent? No, but some of the best players on the, on the planet are now from Europe and stuff like that. So there's athletes everywhere. As long as you're willing to look. That's why I like Combate too. They're going to South America to find MMA. Supposedly, Peru is a hot spot for MMA. Hopefully, we'll see soon in Africa, too. Yeah, exactly. So uh, pay attention to the regions, and the talent will develop.